Today's lesson is called superfoods, not a magic bullet. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. I'm Roger, and guess what, everybody? In the title, it says superfoods, so that's what we're going to talk about today: superfoods. And we all have really busy lives, going to school and to work, and sometimes we just want to have a really simple diet, but a diet that gives us really good food and makes us really healthy. So we kind of hope that superfoods would be a magic bullet, but. We've got some bad news for you today. Superfoods are not a magic bullet. You still need to do your homework on a diet. Hmm, a magic bullet. That reminds me of werewolves. Bear with me. You need a silver bullet to kill a werewolf. Okay, no other bullet will do. You can shoot a werewolf with pretty much anything. But the only thing that's going to kill that werewolf is that silver bullet. So that's your magic bullet. That's that one bullet, that one thing that's going to solve your problem. And apparently, people thought that superfoods were going to come along and solve everybody's health problems. Well, that's not the case. Sorry, superfoods are not going to solve all of your problems health-wise. They are not a magic bullet. There you have it. Anyways, let's learn all about this. How superfoods are not a magic bullet. Let's go ahead and get started on this topic right after a break. Superfoods, not a magic bullet. If you're looking for diet advice, you're bound to be assaulted by any number of bold claims insisting that various foods are amazing cure-alls. But. Are these so-called superfoods really all they're made out to be? 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 bound 这个字是形容词，指必然的、肯定的。例如 ，Matt is bound for success with the way he studies. 以 Matt 读书的样子来看，他一定会有所成就。而 bound 除了有必然的、肯定之意，还可以指正在前往的或打算前去的。我们可以说 ，The ship was bound for the Mediterranean when it ran aground. 那艘船在往地中海航行的途中搁浅了。除此之外 ，bound 除了当形容词使用，还可以当动词使用，指跳跃或蹦跳。像是 Jack bounded down the street toward the approaching ice cream truck. Jack 在街上蹦蹦跳跳的跑向正在接近的冰淇淋车。另外，补充与 bound 相关的片语。可以用 be bound to 加动词表示一定会点点点。举例来说 ，Sally is bound to give you a call once she hears that you want tickets to the movie's opening night. 一旦 Sally 听说你赢得电影首映会的票后，她一定会打电话给你。接着我们看到的单词是动词 assault， 指袭击或攻击。像是 The bad guy planned on using the cover of darkness to assault his next victim. 那个坏人打算利用黑暗的掩护袭击下一个受害者，而 assault 除了当动词之外，也可以当名词使用。所以可以说 ，the assault on the police officer landed Brandon in jail for three months. Brandon 对警员的攻击使他必须坐三个月的牢。Okay, let's get started with our explanation.、Uh, we've got some bad news. Superfoods are not a magic bullet. They're not a cure-all. You can't just eat some superfoods and expect to be healthy or cure cancer or live forever. It's not that simple, as we're going to find out. So let's take a look at the first paragraph here. It says, "If you're looking for diet advice, you're bound to be assaulted by any number of bold claims." Names, insisting that various foods are amazing cure-alls. A cure-all is something that cures all your diseases. It makes you totally healthy. You're never going to have any health problems. You're going to live well beyond the age of 100, perhaps forever. But in any case, you might be looking for some diet advice. You ask your friends. You watch TV. You go on the internet. And of course, if you look at your Facebook posts or things on Instagram. 
Instagram or on the internet, as I've said, you're probably going to see all sorts of information, and you're going to be assaulted by any number of bold claims. So you're bound to just means this is likely to happen to you. It's very possible it's going to happen to you. What's going to happen? Well, you'll be assaulted by lots of claims. Assaulted here usually means that somebody's attacking you.、Uh, you got to be careful. For example, if you're in New York City and And you walk through Central Park at night. You might be assaulted by somebody. You might be attacked and robbed there. So, don't do that. Don't walk in Central Park after midnight. You might be assaulted. But in this particular case, it just means you're going to get lots of information coming your way. You'll be overwhelmed by all that information, and you might be very confused. Yeah, gosh, I was just looking for some. Diet advice, and oh my goodness, I'm overwhelmed by all of these opinions. In fact, I'm getting more information than I even asked for. I don't like this. There are too many ideas. I didn't ask for all of them. I'm being assaulted by these ideas or these bold claims. Yes, it says here if you're looking for diet advice, you're probably going to be assaulted by any number of bold claims, insisting that. Various foods are amazing cure alls, and yes, here any number of the phrase means lots of or a large number of. Now, one one note here: yes, this phrase is always used in an unspecific way. Any number of something. Yes, the idea is that there's a big number involved here, but it's not clear how many there are. It's just a big number. There are going to be many of these bold. Claims insisting that various foods are amazing cure-alls. So yes, people tell you, oh, there are these superfoods here. There's one in particular. If you only ate this for the rest of your life, you would still be healthy. It's the greatest food on earth. Oh man, it's great. It'll solve all of your problems. You'll be healthier. You'll think more clearly. You'll cure cancer. All sorts of stuff. They have all of these claims on these cure-alls, but none of these cure-alls, none of these super. Foods are actually cure-alls. These superfoods are not a magic bullet. They're not going to be the answer to all of your problems. Anyways, here's the question. Here's the question that we're going to be talking about over the next couple of days. But are these so-called superfoods really all they're made out to be? Yes. These foods they call themselves, or other people call these foods, super foods. These are the best foods on earth. They're amazing. They're super great. Now that's the way that they're being portrayed or represented to us. But are they really all they're made out to be? Are they really all they're cracked up to be? Is there truth to how these foods have been represented or characterized to us?、Hmm? That is the question. Yes, here the phrase "made out to be" means to portray something in some way. Often, though, you're portraying that thing in a misleading way. Indeed. So, are these claims true about these superfoods? Okay, let's find out here. Let's talk about some of these superfoods as our lesson continues.、Uh, let's find out exactly what superfoods are in the next part of our lesson. Superfoods are defined as foods that offer superior nutrition with few negative effects, and they are primarily fruits, vegetables, and grains. Since the fad took off in the 1990s, the number of supposed superfoods has continued to grow. These range from commonplace foods such as green tea, spinach, and blueberries to more unusual products like quinoa, chia seeds, and acai berries. Being hyped as a superfood can rocket a humble seed or berry to fame, causing its sales to go through the roof as people scramble to get in on the trend. It's easy to understand why superfoods are so popular. What could be better than a single food that promises health, energy, and protection from diseases? Liu, the company hyped its new product as a game changer in the industry. 公司把他们的新产品炒作为改变游戏产业的大转变。而 hype 除了可以当动词使用外，还可以当名词使用，指天花乱坠的广告宣传。
所以可以说 ，the massive hype for the new film was fueled by constant media coverage. 持续不断的媒体报道推动了这部新电影的大肆炒作。接着，我们看到动词 scramble 有快速、匆忙的行动之意，像是 when the alarm sounded, the firefighters scrambled into their gear and onto the truck. 警报响起，消防员仓促的穿好装备，跳上消防车。另外 ，scramble 做动词用时，还有以下两个意思。首先，可以用 scramble 来指搅乱或炒蛋。举例来说 ，For her breakfast, Tiffany scrambled some eggs and toasted a bagel. Tiffany 早餐炒了蛋，还烤了一个贝果。再来，可以在 scramble 后面加上 to， 表示争夺或抢夺。所以我们可以说。Fans of the band scrambled to get tickets to their concert. 这个乐团的粉丝们抢夺演唱会的门票。Superfoods are defined as foods that offer superior nutrition with few negative side effects, and they are primarily fruits, vegetables. And grain. So there you have it. They offer superior nutrition. They're super good for you. And yes, there's very little that is bad about them as well. Hence, they're superfoods. That is our definition of superfoods. Lots of nutrition. Not、uh, really anything bad about them. Few negative effects, and of course, they're primarily fruits, vegetables, and grains like wheat or barley or rice, etc. Now, since the fad took off in the 1990s, the number of supposed superfoods has continued to grow. So, this fad, this popular thing in society, took off way back in the 1990s. So, here the phrase "took off." Well, that's the past tense of the phrase. To take off,、uh, that could mean that an airplane is going into the air and it's beginning its flight to another destination. But in this particular case, it just means something started.、Uh, this fad took off, or this fad, this popular trend began in the 1990s, and it's been continuing since that time. And the number of those superfoods, those so-called or supposed superfoods, the number has continued to grow. We hear about new superfoods all the time. There you go. These range from commonplace foods such as green tea, spinach, and blueberries to more unusual products like quinoa, chia seeds, and acai berries. And yes, I know all about green tea and spinach and blueberries, but these other things, I've read about them, I've seen them, but. I haven't really had the opportunity to eat them yet, but boy, do they ever sound exotic to me! They're not commonplace at all. Yes, something that is commonplace is not exotic. It's common. It's ordinary. It's normal. Or these commonplace foods, you could just say that they are common, found everywhere. They're Ordinary or their normal run-of-the-mill garden variety things. Yep, you can run down to your local supermarket and find them there, or your local traditional market. They're quite commonplace there. Green tea, of course, that's popular in Japan and it's popular here in Taiwan. Spinach, of course, is bought high.、Uh, that's、uh, very popular here in Taiwan. I like spinach myself. Also, blueberries, which I think are mostly imported, but they're not that expensive. And you can find them in a lot of places here. So that's the range here from commonplace foods, and the range goes to more unusual foods or more unusual products, such as the things we just mentioned here: quinoa, which I believe is limai in Chinese. We've got chia seeds. And also, we've got acai berries. Those are berries that come from Brazil. I think I had a friend out in Sancia who used to sell those, and he tried to sell me some, and he was claiming that they were a kind of superfood. So these are being described as more unusual kinds of superfoods or unusual products. And we mentioned some examples there: quinoa, chia seeds, and acai berries. I hope I pronounced those all correctly. Well, one way or another, 
These are being touted as being superfoods. They're going to save your life. They're going to cure cancer. They're going to do it all. They're a magic bullet. They are a cure-all. They're going to save your life. Yes, these foods have been hyped. That means people have made unbelievable claims about these foods. They've made these claims that might not be totally true. They've been hyped quite a bit. And yes, being hyped as a superfood can rocket a humble seed or berry to fame, causing its sales to go through the roof as people scramble to get in on the trend. So there you go. Before these humble seeds and berries were humble, they were nothing big, but then people started touting them or hyping them as being superfoods, and then the game was on. People started to scramble to get these things. They started to scramble to get in on the trend. Yep, you probably saw those infomercials on TV hyping these superfoods as cure-alls for all your problems. Just say, hey, order now while the offer lasts and you can be healthy for the rest of your life. So they really promoted these superfoods and they became famous as a result and people fell for it and sales went through the roof. They sold these things like hotcakes and, of course, people scrambled to get on the trend. They hurried to get these things to be the first kid on their block to have these products and to become really, really strong and healthy and to become like a Superman. Well, it's easy to understand why superfoods are so popular. Okay, It's easy for us to understand why people like them so much. What could be better than a single food that promises health, energy, and protection from diseases? Yes, that would make it very simple. Why bother with three meals a day and doing dietary planning and going to the market so many times and learning how to cook? If all you could do is just simply open up a jar in the morning, pop a pill, and you're set for life. You'll never have to worry about getting cancer or respiratory problems or even dying for the rest of your life. What would be better than that? That's what we all want to have. Yeah, what could be better than that? So, yes, go ahead and give me some superfoods because I want to live with unending health and energy and vitality and all those things. But... Do superfoods actually do these things? Okay, do they actually deliver on their promises? That's what we're going to start to learn right after a break. Unfortunately, there is little in the way of scientific research to back up the claims made about superfoods. In fact, most dietitians avoid using the term. They point out that a healthy diet requires a broad range of foods, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, and fish, and that no individual food can guarantee good health. Dietitian. 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 The dietitians in the hospital arrange different recipes for various patients. Okay, in the third part, we've got the bad news here. It says, unfortunately, there is little in the way of scientific research to back up the claims made about superfoods. So if you see those commercials on TV or posts on Facebook or whatever claiming that these foods are going to cure all your problems... Well, unfortunately, there's not much scientific evidence to support those claims. So unfortunately here is a word that we use when we want to say there is a bad side to something. We've been telling you all sorts of good news, but now we have to tell you the bad news. So I could say, well, you know, I invested a lot of money in the stock market and I'm planning to make a lot of money, but unfortunately, the prices went down and I went broke and had to sell my house and my car and now I'm living under a bridge. Mm, poor guy. You're not very lucky, are you? Yes, the word unfortunately is a lot like the word 
unluckily. Anyways, that's the first word in the sentence to deal with. The second of these words is the word research. Okay, here the word research is being used as a noun. And yes, the word, the noun I should say, research, is similar to the noun studies. Okay, you can say that there's scientific research or there have been some scientific studies Dokai. But yes, the word research refers to systematic scientific investigation into some topic. Like I believe a couple of months ago, we talked about the physicist Stephen Hawking, who is no longer with us. During his lifetime, Stephen Hawking did exhaustive research into the nature of the universe. Yes, he did a whole lot of research. He studied black holes quite a lot and also the origins and the nature of our universe. Yes, and please be careful with this word research. It is a non-count noun, so please don't say research. You can say studies. I could say, for example, there have been many scientific studies conducted about this, but you can't say researches. You can say there has been much research done in this field. So please remember that. So yes, there's not much in the way of scientific research, or there aren't many studies to back up these claims about those superfoods. Get this. In fact, most dietitians avoid using the term superfood. So, if you're a dietitian, you scientifically study people's nutrition and their diets. And if you were a dietitian, you would say, "Hey, hold off on calling these foods superfoods." Okay, that's going to give people the impression that they are cure-alls. When they're not, and there's more. These dietitians they point out that a healthy diet requires a broad range of foods, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, and fish, and that no individual food can guarantee good health. Yes, folks, dietitians they say it as well. There is no magic bullet when it comes to food. No individual food can guarantee good. Health. Health. Now here we've got the verb guarantee to talk about. If you guarantee something, you promise that thing. You give someone a formal or official promise that you can do something, that you will do something, or that something will happen. And people have claimed that superfoods can guarantee good health. That if you eat these superfoods, that you will be healthy forever. Now is that necessarily true? That remains to be seen. It does remain to be seen, but right now we're going to hear from our Chinese teacher. <音楽>各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天文法重点。课文第二部分有一个句子是 ：Being hyped as a superfood can rocket a humble seed or berry to fame. Causing its sales to go through the roof as people scramble to get in on the trend. 被炒作成超级食物，可以让不起眼的种子或是梅果声名大噪，然后使得它在人们争相赶搭这个风潮的时候，让它销量急速攀升。好，句子里面这个 H Y P E hype 当动词是用来表达炒作或是大肆宣传。Being hyped as a superfood 就表示被炒作成超级食物。好，在课文里面呢，这部分是动名词片语来当主词，也就是以 being hyped as a superfood 来当主词。那同学们要记得哦，如果你是用动名词当主词的时候，它必须视为单数。后面要搭配单数动词。好，另外这个句子它有用到好几个片语，我们一个一个来看。第一个叫 rocket to fame， 是指说一举成名，声名大噪。rocket 我们知道是火箭嘛，它在这里是当动词，表示快速的窜起，急速上升。那么名词 fame 是指名望、声望。rocket to fame 就相当于 shoot to fame。好，那么它的这个意思就是说，一举成名啊，突然变得超有名的。那这个用法呢，通常是用某人或某事物 shoot to fame， 或者是 rocket to fame。你也可以用 shoot somebody or something to fame， 或者是 rocket somebody or something to fame。例如 ，The singer rocketed to fame after her album sold a million copies。那一位歌手她的专辑卖出一百万张之后，就快速的窜红。好，再来看第二个片语叫 
go through the roof. 字面上的意思是冲破屋顶，那引申的意思就是飙高，冲破高点。它可以用来表达某事物它的销售量啊，或者是价格飞涨激增，一飞冲天。举例来说。Oil prices went through the roof during the war. 战争期间呢，石油价格飙涨了。好，另外这个片语呢，也可以用来形容人怒气冲天、火冒三丈、暴跳如雷。像是 She went through the roof when she realized her son had stolen her money. 她发现她儿子偷钱的时候，整个火冒三丈，非常生气。好，再看第三个片语叫做 get in on something， 这表示加入啊，参与某事物，像是嗯、hmm, ，it sounds like an interesting project， we'd like to get in on it。哎，这听起来像是个有趣的专案，我们想要一起参与。好，另外我们常常用 get in on the action， 或是 get in on the act， 或者是 get into the act。来表达加入某个行动，参与某个活动，尤其是指别人已经先发起行动，而且大获成功。你看到也想要跟风，也想要跑进来跟进啊，凑一脚这样子。例如 ，They started selling Korean beauty products a few years ago, and it wasn't long before other stores got into the act. 他们在几年前啊，开始卖这个韩国美容产品，然后不久呢，很快很快的，其他商店也跟进了。好，以上是今天重点整理。我们回顾今天单字吧。Bound. Even if you fail this exam, you're still bound to pass the class, so you shouldn't be so worried. Assault. The woman's friends and family say they have no idea why she suddenly assaulted several people. Commonplace. TVs used to be commonplace inside the home, but many young people now only have computers. Scramble. Everyone scrambled to get out of the building when the fire alarm went off. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I never got a response from the organizers of the poetry contest I tried to enter over a month ago. Research. More research is needed on the subject because so far studies have come up with varying results. Guarantee. The manufacturer guarantees that this product will last for at least ten years. 好了，以上是今天的重点整理。